In this video, we're going to tie a little classic fly called the Hornberg. First thing we're going to do is start with a 52-62 hook and a 8 dot uni black thread. We're going to start it about a quarter of the way back from the eye of the hook. Then we're just going to lay down some spiraling wraps back down the shank. This will give us something for our tinsel to kind of bite down and hold on to. Then we're going to take a piece of large gold flat mylar tinsel and we're going to take that tinsel and we're going to wrap it so that the gold portion of that tinsel faces up and the silver tinsel faces down. We're looking for the gold part of the tinsel to show through. We're just going to wrap it down the shank of the hook here all the way to the bend and then we're going to take it and wrap it forward kind of doubling up the tinsel, making it as smooth of a body as we can. And then when we get to our tie-in point here, take that tinsel and capture it. And we can then trim it out of the way. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of yellow calf tail and you don't need very much of this. Got to be careful that you don't overdo it with the calf tail. I usually just put it in a stacker briefly just kind of roughly even up the tips of that. You want to pull out any of the shorter under fur and pull out any of the rough tips as well. And all this calf tail is going to do is just add a little bit of color through our wings. And we're going to take that, we're going to measure it on the shank of a hook. We want it to be about the length of the shank of the hook. We want it to just barely hang over um, the back of the bend there. So I just trim those butt ends flush and then we can tie it in. There we are. We just have a little kind of short little wing hanging off the back. I might have made it a little too long. Not a big deal if you do that. You can just unwrap and give it another short little trim. There we are. Nice little short little wing. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a mallard flank feather and we're going to kind of pull off all the fluffy bits at the back end of the feather and that'll leave us a nice wide profiled wing. And we want to make this so that it's about the length of the shank of the hook plus a little more to cover um, the back kind of portion of that calf tail. So it usually ends up being about one and a half to one and a quarter the length of the shank of the hook. And then I'm going to do two of those, one on each side. And then we can take that wing and we want it to face inwards. I don't want it to face outwards and splay away. See there how it's splaying away? I want it to face in on the fly. And I always like to tie mine in so that they angle up slightly as well. And just trim off all the little fluffy pieces. We're going to tie that in. I like mine to angle slightly up so I can just maneuver the feather to get it to kind of lay the way I want it to lay. You can also kind of preen these every once in a while with your fingers to make sure that they lay down nice and smooth. Then we do the same exact thing on the other side. So that we have two matching pairs of flank feathers here. And 
Now we're going to tie in the eyes. For this I'm going to use a little bit of jungle cock. And we're going to strip away all the feathers except for the little pieces up by the eye. We're going to tie these in here on each side. I want it to be about half the total length of our wing. And we do the same on the other side. And you can trim off all your stems. Can lay down a nice smooth base as well of thread. Our hackle can lay on. For that, you're going to use either one grizzly, one brown rooster cape feather, or what I'm going to use today is two pieces of dark bar ginger rooster cape feather. We're going to tie these in. We're still I'm getting picky here. I want my feathers to lay down just perfectly right next to each other. There we go. And once you get up to the eye of the hook, you can capture those feathers. Trim out the butt ends. whip finish. Any other stray fibers you can trim out at this time. Got a few kind of right up by the underside of the eye of my fly here. You can pluck them out, trim them out, whatever you need to do to, to get them out of there. And that is a Hornberg, fairly simple fly to tie. Great little brook trout, high country mountain trout fly. Uh, it can be fished as a dry fly or uh, pulled as a wet fly as well. Um, both very effective. Um, can imitate kind of a small hopper uh, or a small minnow when fished as a wet fly. Uh, and that is the, the Hornberg.